welcome back to my channel and Madison if you're new if you haven't already please subscribe below but today I just wanted to do a few days of my life um it's been like a week since we moved in so we're still getting a few things situated I can show y'all what all has come in and then what all we have put together and that stuff um but just had a slow morning it's my last weekday before I start work I start work on Monday so I'm super excited about that um yeah it's definitely slow and i don't know what has been up but north has been waking me up at 4 a.m the past four days in a row and it's like then i can't go back to sleep after i've woken up so then i end up sleeping in until like nine um it's 11 right now i think i'm about to go take him on a walk and then do a workout i know today i want to hang up um some paintings and stuff and then i also want to paint the dining table and then my bookcase because during the move they got scratched so they're like black um when they're white so i have to paint over it um and yeah i think it's actually it might rain today like later today and then it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow so definitely cozy vibes but yeah so let's get ready to go walk I'm dying because I had one job obviously to paint and my boyfriend was like Madison just be careful for whenever you pop the lid off or whenever you close the lid because sometimes paint flies I was like oh okay he didn't tell me whenever you open it the lid literally flew <laughs> hit the concrete, I was like, ah. Uh. But it wasn't that bad of a mess. It like, literally only has like two drops. So hopefully we can get that out. But I am working on the table now. So I'm painting, but I thought I would just ignore all the boxes. This is the lovely side of moving. Oh, well. Um, so of course, um, I'm like a more, I guess, I feel like women are just always more patient. So I'm more patient with our dog. And I was just letting him kind of explore outside. Um, I think I let him pee and then instead of directly taking him like back, I just like let him like look at the neighbors and stuff like that. So whenever I did that, sorry, I'm painting this one thing. Basically, we took him out the back door and then I have the garage like halfway up because I'm painting out here and I was trying to get him to go back through the garage instead of through the back door and he like didn't want to go so he's been like trying to resist and his like harness wasn't that tight and he literally slipped out and ran into the backyard and like meanwhile my neighbors are all like watching this because this is a very social neighborhood. I literally wanted to cry. I'm like, North, I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Like, cause, yeah. They were like, oh my God, did you catch him? And I'm like, yeah, he literally just ran to the backyard. Like the annoying little puppy he is. But I mean, then my boyfriend was actually back there. So then he just like picked him up. But literally, he's so stubborn. Like he is such a stubborn dog. And obviously I should have like, I don't know. Like, obviously, I yelled at him. Like, I told him no. But I should have, like, just let him go the other way. But I was just like, no, I want to go through here. But literally, so embarrassing. I'm painting right now. Um, it looks pretty good. So, not going to lie. But also, at the same time, like, I don't really care. This bookshelf was literally $35. So, I just want to 
have a place to put my books, honestly. Right, so this is the top of the table. I feel like you can kind of still see, let me see, some of the black. I don't even know if you can actually see that. And then here's the bookcase. And here's my boyfriend. It's so blurry. All right, so my boyfriend is going to get pizza. I've just been watching YouTube. I ended up finishing painting the bookcase and table. And then I also went on my desk and I was trying to hide some wires, which I'll show you. I have a standing desk. And then I was just kind of like organizing everything, taking my books out so that I can put it in my bookcase. But I think that's all I'm literally gonna do tonight. We've basically done a lot. I showed y'all my rug, which I'm super excited about. The rug online actually looked brighter, which I didn't want it to be bright. Um, I was just nervous because it was supposed to be like this dull color, which it is, which is perfect. We're actually getting um, a new cover for this couch. This is not gonna be our end all be all couch. This is just, we're getting like a temporary brown color one because we're gonna try and hold off on getting a couch until maybe January because um, we're gonna get a nice one and then hopefully we can just sell this couch. Or this might go in my boyfriend's office. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's, I might take a bath later. So we'll see. All right, so it's been a little hot sec. Um, it's actually like the end of my work day, but so it's been a little bit, but I was editing this video back and that's why I wanna add this final part. But I kinda wanna show y'all my office area. It's still coming together, but obviously I already did my bookcase. And while we're on that topic of books, I wanted to share what I thought about the It Starts With Us because I know I put that book in here and then tell y'all what else I'm reading and stuff like that. Right, so I grabbed the books. Um, so It Starts With Us, I love this. I really did not like the It Ends With Us. Um, I, like I said, I'm not a huge Colleen Hoover fan, but I feel like, hello North. <laughs> I told him he could come back here. Um, but I feel like sometimes her stories are just like the most insane, bizarre things happen and it's just like, oh my goodness. But this was nice. Um, I like how it brought up how, um, like difficult the, fi the family dynamics can be whenever it comes to divorce and then dating again and just like sharing a child and all of that obviously trigger warning is like abuse so you know um there was just like one little um instance of it but i think the first book it ends with us has a lot more of that i really loved it um it really was not over the top so <laughs> i guess that's it's, I feel like it's like relatable, kind of. Like, I feel like this could like happen in real life. Um, on to the book I'm reading currently is Fire and Blood, and I cannot get enough of it because I watch House of Dragons, and I was not that big into Game of Thrones. I still haven't really finished it. I watched it over a span of like three years, so it's like some things remember, some things I don't, and I feel like there's some people who like stand for it, and they like will bring up all this like stuff and i'm like how do you even know that i'm like oh my god it's because they read the book so that's why i wanted to read the book i am loving it um something to note is it has super long chapters um very detail oriented <laughs> obviously it's a lot of words it's like 700 pages um but i like it so that's what i'm reading right now i think i'm about 90 pages in almost 100 yeah so i love it um, which is so funny because like whenever I was watching House of Dragons, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I just want to know who wins. And I'm like, oh my god, I can figure it out. Um, after that, I got one of my book of the months, which is um, Jacqueline in Paris. I almost said in Paradise, like Bachelor in Paradise in Paris, um, which I'm excited to read this one too. But I might read both these at the same time because this is like heavy fantasy and, you know, sometimes you need some other things. But yeah, that is that. And I think I'm going to show you all my desk and stuff maybe in the next video because I love my desk. Don't get me wrong. It's awesome. It's like a standing desk, but I can show you the cords just look like a hot mess and it's just not the mood. Um, and then it was like the thing that you can put to hold the cords. They don't actually have a like hole that you can drill into it so you have to drill it in yourself and then my, I think my boyfriend threw away the screws for me to do that so I'm using these smaller screws 
anyways I'll show you I love it though it's literally 55 inches which is huge um it's a huge desk and it gets to stand but again like I said the cords are just like oh, a mess right now so I'll show you that these are the cords do you see this like hot mess express it's not cute it's not cute Anyways, I want to end off this vlog. Thank y'all so much for watching and going through a day with me. I am definitely going to do some work with me vlogs um, or just like my before my 9 to 5 and stuff like that. And I definitely want to do an apartment tour because we got so many good well, so many good pieces of furniture and stuff. And I just love how it's looking. So yeah, thanks so much and subscribe below if you haven't already. Thanks guys.